Hello everyone. So in this subject that is advanced manufacturing process we are going to go for fourth unit. The unit is micro machining and nano fabrication techniques. Now what is the micro machining and nano fabrication machining techniques. Now first of all nowadays uh, we can see that from 1 to 10 mm the micro machining to the 1 to 999 mm so that is nothing but the mac machining are the emerging as an important technology especially the area where the mini utilization yield economics and technical benefits namely the aerospace and automobile optical and biomedical industries so it plays very important role in all the area within the time many utilization the machining and device is leading to further demand for the parts and dimensions of order of a few micrometers now the machining process of micro and nano machining process is very deep from 10 raised to minus 6 mm to 1 nanometer that is nothing but the 10 raised to minus 9 meter now the demand of industry for micro manufacturing of various types of material lies like it is a metallic ceramic and plastic is also increased by day next is we have to give the example that is the product required for micro manufacturing of micro holes are fiber micro nodules for high temperature optical micro modes jets etc now scientific and research are engaged in a development for nano features products such as nano electrochemical system hence it is quite safe and say that there is a need of my manufacturing process that that are capable of dealing with automatic and molecular dimensions next step is a or next process is a diamond turning process now what is a diamond turning process it is a highly accuracy and performance requirement coupled with demands to reduce the cost as due to the diamond turning process the cost which is very reduced and has led to significant development advance it is also known as advanced cnc diamond turning machine use of this cutting tools has increased in a more important as a tighter tolerance and greater surface are required for high value components now mostly it is used in automobile industries and aerospace industry where the high accuracy is very important then next the cutting tools needs to be hard and shapes are to have enhanced thermal properties and in order to maintain the size and shape while cutting
नेक्स्ट देर आर एडवांटेजेस ऑफर्ड बाय डायमंड आर वेरी शार्पर कटिंग एजेस एंड इट्स ऑल्सो क्रिस्टलाइन स्ट्रक्चर विच एनेबल द प्रोसेस हाई थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी द हाइएस्ट ऑफ एनी मटेरियल एट अ रूम टेम्परेचर नेक्स्ट इज अ एबिलिटी टू रिटेन हाई स्ट्रेंथ एंड हाई टेम्परेचर ऑल्सो दैट इज अ हाई इलास्टिक एंड शेयर मॉड्यूल विच रिड्यूज द डिफॉर्मेशन ड्यूरिंग द मशीन एज वी नो दैट there in, in the diamond turning machine process there is a, a contact between two line work piece so high thermal uh, stresses can be developed and due to this higher thermal conductive material is requirement so most of the properties are the important properties or important parameters for diamond turning machining process also the diamond micro machining is of particular interest for the optical and electronics industries now the process is also capable for simultaneous achieving the high profile accuracy and uh, also the good surface finish are introduced in with the help of this process also the sub surface damage in brittle material for example semiconductor magnetic grid and optical components these are the various examples next the machining principle that is a single point diamond turning is a capable of producing extremely fine cut and small chips also because of this the accuracy is very increase also important characters of uh, metal consider for diamond micro machinings are impurities in a material gain the boundaries of polycrystalline material and in homogeneous this can cause a small vibration of cutting tool resulting in an deterioration in a surface finish next the my, uh, machining principle another factors affecting the quality of the surface finish is the high coefficient of expansion couple with the lower thermal conductivity of some plastics which are diamond turn now these thermal effects are to some extent minimized with the cutting diamond tool due to its sharp cutting edges lower coefficient of friction and high thermal conductivity which conducts heat away okay now next is a uh, that is a theoretical peak value of surface roughness is this is rt which is equal to f square divided by 8 into tr where this rt is a theoretical peak of surface roughness f is a feed rate per revolution of the work spindle which is in mm per revolution and last tr is a tool nose radius so with the help of this formula we will get the value of rt that is a theoretical peak to the surface roughness next is a machining principle again the need of micro machining process uh, and the hard brittle material has leads to be significant important in a machining tool technology and the process is also known as a ductile shear or we can say mode machining also the ductile material or ductile mode machining is important for cost effective production and uh, of high performance and optical advanced ceramic components this enhances their the performance strength significance and eliminates or minimizes the post processing next the critical depth of the cut is generally a small from 0.1 to 0.3 micrometer also is associated with the feed rate resulting a slow material removal rate 
However, the cost effective techniques for producing the high quality spherical and non spherical optical surface without the need of for polishing. And next is the machining for turning of fly cutting a brittle material in which the depth of cut is a critical chip thickness that is nothing but the DC. Now location of the critical chip thickness is depend on the feed. So there are various examples for that feed rates are used to micro fracture damage zone is removed during the machining. In this case the subsurface damage does not extend into the cut surface however if the feed rate is increased at that time the critical chip thickness moves down towards the cut and the resulting the micro fracture damage so so i hope you understood till this for the diamond turning machining process so we'll see next part in a next lecture thank you thanks for watching